we are on the traditional land of the settlers of Upper Canada, formerly known as York, a parcel of land legally purchased from the Mississaugas. Good afternoon to the committee adjudicators, to the members of the public, and to the mainstream media, if any of you are out there. It took you about nine months to realize that I ran for mayor, but we're very happy to have you here. Um, with your brilliance in keeping the new in news, I can't imagine why you require a $600 million media bailout from the Prime Minister. And good day also to the applicant's representation. It is a pity that the applicant himself couldn't stomach facing me today, and instead had to send his work dad and legal team. Speaking of legal matters, I wish the applicant's organization all the best in the lawsuit they presently face for allegedly, fraudulently appropriating the life of a lifelong anti-racism activist, Elisa Haken, who claims that the so-called anti-hate network has engaged in civil fraud, misrepresentation, defamation, conspiracy, and unjust enrichment. All the best to you. I'm Faith Goldie. I'm a political commentator, an investigative journalist, and I recently ran for mayor of Toronto. I'm the brains behind one of the most successful Sorry. independent... Yes? Sorry, I just need to, uh, to stop to ask the media if you could get out of the sort of horseshoe area, but other than that... You I'm very comfortable, like, actually. I welcome the get here. Although it's blocked my, my uh, radar here, Jonathan Goldsman. Nice to see you, friend. Again, I'm Faith Golding, political commentator, investigative journalist, and recent mayoral candidate in the Toronto municipal election. I am the brains behind one of the most successful independent political YouTube channels in the country. And if you're not already subscribed, I urge you to go to youtube.com slash faithjgoldie. Here, here. Now, upon beginning, owing to the fact that I am unsure if there is a presumption of innocence here, as is the case in real Canadian courts, or if there is an onus to prove innocence, akin to our human rights tribunals in this country, I thought it would be helpful to begin by listing all of my victim cards. I, as I hope is very abundantly clear to the members of the audience and the committee members, am a woman. I am part of the 49% of non-racialized individuals in Toronto, thereby making me a minority in the city <laughs> and the globe. I have also endorsed the Liberal Party of Canada for 2019. Now, I'm not sure if that infers some sort of handicap, but I thought it would be important to list it here. I am also a Christian, making me a member of the most targeted religious group in the world, with approximately 105 of my co-religionists' places of worship being attacked every month. Now for the matter at hand before us today. My response to the relevant application before the committee today can be summarized quite simply. The applicant has no concrete evidence for his claims. And with the utmost respect, and I mean that sincerely, to the very accomplished adjudicators before me, this particular committee does not have the authority to perform the actions sought in this application, namely an audit of my personal accounts. There exists no precedent in Canadian political or legal history of a personal audit for a political candidate relating to a campaign based on zero concrete evidence. And it is my intention to ensure that that precedent is not set here in this room today. 